What's up guys? So I have decided to come out of hibernation. I do not do the cold at all. But um, I'm back in my hometown and it's like 56 degrees today and sunny so I'm venturing out. I am still on a mission to find that complete Gayola bottling company bottle from my hometown here in Elk Park. So I am going to dig today and probe around and see what I can find and I will let y'all know what we find. So once again, obviously I know they're here. I'm thinking this probably was like their their dump pile, their spoil piles, where they just kind of dumped all their trash on the other side of the road off this bank here. Um, but right now, I'm looking at that right there. I'm not sure if it's going to be whole or not, but I'm in the process of digging it out. So we'll see. Just as I thought. Nada. Oh well, we'll keep going. When you see this, it makes your heart skip a beat. Like finding that big old Meg. But I don't think it's Gaola. It doesn't have the center slug or any other indicator that it is. And it has this probably modern, but the reason why I'm a little skeptical or wondering if it's kind of same time frame is because of that the neck on it, the block, the top. Because these are the Gaola necks. And they are very, 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 very similar to this one. So, maybe it's the same time period, but different bottling companies? I don't know. But it is whole, but it's plain. So I'm going to take it anyway. Oh well. Can't say I didn't leave with something. Once again, we've got a base sticking out of here and lots of other pieces of glass. So I'm going to pull this out and see what we got. So I am not holding my breath, but I don't think it's a Gaola. But I mean, that sucker is still going. So we might have a whole bottle here. I'm not sure what kind, but definitely from the same time period as the Gaolas. Eee! I hope it's whole. You guys, I'm shaking right now. So it has taken me like 10 minutes to extract that. It looks like there's a partial maybe beside it. This is even better than the Gaola. This is the J-Ray. Uh, Center Slug Elk Park, North Carolina. This is even more rare and older than the Gaolas. <sighs> I was just about to leave, literally, and I said, just keep looking in that area for five more minutes. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this is happening right now. I mean, it is completely, completely whole. I am shaking right now. This is so awesome. I cannot wait to get this cleaned up. Yay! I'm not even joking. I'm pretty sure there's another one right beside it. And I almost want to bet that it's whole because the other hole was right there. So it's like it was right on top of it. Oh my God. If I have two of these, I'm going to freak. Okay, so disregard me looking like a total hot mess, but I am so freaking excited right now. So I came here with hopes of finding the Gaola company or the Gaola bottling company bottles. Now I have found a ton of partials, pieces, um, center slugs, bases, uh, you know, but nothing, nothing amazing. So then I found this guy. No center slug stamp. I'm gonna do some research on definitely looks like a similar bottle cat or the top to a gala um, so I'm thinking probably same time frame and it is whole but what I'm most excited about are these two 
All right, so these were literally laying side by side in the hole. Um, this one does not have any center slug, but obviously same, probably bottling company, same time frame. Um, so, and it is whole. I was super, super shocked, but I would have never in a million years dreamed that I would have found a J-Ray, um, which is, again, even more rare than the Gayola and it has that perfect center slug on it so I'm going to get it home and cleaned up but this has literally been an amazing hunt I cannot believe that I'm leaving with a J-Ray oh my god seriously and it's perfect I mean absolutely perfect I've just got to get it cleaned up <sighs> look at that look at that wow